Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Chris and this is Web Onyx Gaming with the Let's Play series for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Part 3 on PlayStation 4. If you enjoy any of this content then please feel free to like, subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. Um, where are we? So we are, we've uh, just been to the vault on Bogota. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. And we are heading back to the ship, but we've also unlocked some new areas. <laughs> Circle, quickly recover after being knocked down. Okay. Stim! The problem with this game is loading times. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but they take ages. down so that, like, so that got us like much more uh, a lot difficult than uh, the other one we we fought near the beginning um, I'm just trying to find like so these are kind of like the statues to the symbols that were in that, in that vault Scanning again? Mysterious skeleton. The structure of these bones suggests a large reptilian creature. An anal analysis of elements within the bones date them as old as 1,000 years. Down here, are we gonna?
I just wanted to see what was down there. I'm guessing this is going to open up the door back to the main starting area. My friend, it appears the Zepho had some interest in death up here. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. So that's destination un unlocked. Uh, discovering Dathomir. My friend recently discovered. My friend, I recently discovered that the Zephyr had some interest in Daphomir. Strange for such culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. There's more to be discovered in Daphomir. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what the guy just said. This is a faded mural. A faded mural located on Bog Bogano, not far from the Zephyr vault. It likely represents a planet, but the artwork is too damaged to make out any s specifics. Okay, so we've unlocked the way back here. All right, let's meditate. Okay, so it looks like there's some more paths we can take as well, so let's have a look. Um, can't really go... Can't go down. So let's go up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, that was the wrong button there. I want to press X, not circle. Okay, so there's a few little holes down here and a giant toad at the bottom. Um I kinda I think that no, I think that zip line there just leads us back to the beginning. Oh, hi there. Making a new friend. Boglings. Boglings are small creatures endemic to Bogona. Nat natural escape artists. They evolved to run on their toes. This technique allows them to quickly change direction or jump while navigating Bogona's mix of rocky and marsh-like terrain. Their furry bodies compensate for the heat lost through their bare feet. Um, okay, so that looks like... It looks like an area there we can jump down to, but it looks like we're going to have some more of those toads to kill. I think I might just take the plunge. Yeah, it looks like it's and completely missed. <laughs> Brilliant. What the hell? So we can definitely like jump down in the sky. Um, 
to do a bit of start off damage. He is gonna one shot me if I don't stay at max health. It's just when he does that charge attack. comp link to be repaired to operate this device. So I'll take it there like the good chests. Where Boggling was killed. Was it trying to defend its family? Boggling corpse. This Boggling fought back against an Ogdo. Desperately trying to protect its family. Oh man, that was definitely like a beefier beast. Why would I have like a wall run, Eric? Can you just wall run across there? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so this is the other area that we didn't go to. Did I use this place to study the sphere above? I can still feel the excitement. Research notes. 
meticulous, hard, handcrafted notes on these energy spheres left behind by the researcher on Bugano. Like there's any way to get up through there, there's no way to like. And this is just gonna be to get back to this area. Okay, so there's a few other platforms that we cannot uh, get to. Uh, there's that a little bit. Okay, I'm definitely going to rest up. Uh, especially after that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back up this way because there was a way down. <laughs> up here. Yeah, which leads us back here. Um, Alright, so we're just going to go up there and check out that area. See if, uh, see if there's anything interesting there. Then we'll head back to the ship. So another little area with a drop down. So 
I feel like that is going to be the top. Let's see if there's anything else up here. There's definitely like a few other areas. And that's just where we went to at the start. Um but I kind of like don't want to die. So can we we can grab on. That's cool. Stem crate should be here. Can you carry more? Thanks, BD1. Nice, the maximum number of stim canisters increased. That's what we like to see. Um, so yeah, so this is the top area, this is where... This thing. But we still can't force it down or anything. Well, like, how would we get over there? Doesn't look like there's any. Uh, anyway, over there to go. <coughs> Okay, so we want an extra stim canister. Um, is it safe to drop down? Um, God knows, but we're going to do it anyway. So we're gonna continue. So I'm just gonna cut this bit out because it's just been, uh, it's just uh, a lot of time waiting. I have to go and uh, just bring my daughter back in. She's uh, she's been a little bit ill lately. So we're just making sure she got a little bit settled and gave her some medicine. Let's go back. I mean, is this thing back here? No, so we don't have to kill it again. Once it's down, it's down. I guess that's going to be the same for all of those kind of enemies. <gasps> that have the big red bar. Oh. Jesus, what the hell? No way. Oh, we go. We're back up here, so it's not too bad. Uh, I'm just trying to see where that location is and how we would get up there. Um, it doesn't look like we can get up there just yet.
Uh, we could meditate here, which means we start back here if we die. We'll do that. And we are heading across to... Uh, to the side. Okay, so we've been down here to collect that chest that was at the bottom. Which gave us an extra heal. And we're just gonna drop down here again. Can I'm I get take some help? Um, oh, scan. What are we scanning? Thanks, BD1. Uh, Binog Muriel. An ancient uh, Zepho depiction of the Binog. Cordova hypothesized the presence of the Binog was a key factor in choosing Bagona for the vault due to its importance in Zepho art. Alright, and we've got a new skill point for this. What the hell are those two doing? Um. Okay. Can we get a... Oh no, 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 no. Come on. BD1, stem! Okay, I'm not just back down there. Uh, where we fought the first frog. Hey now. What do we find? Um. Oh, get out under the poncho. Customization. So if we go to poncho. Take this out and then we can go to outfit. Just a different kind of skin. Okay, so how do we get out of this place? Can I get some aid? Um, I guess we just have to go down. But that looks like a big drop. Looks like that might be the only way back, though. Yeah, let's just drop. And then onto there.
So it doesn't look like there's anywhere else we can really go in this area. So we'll get some other abilities anyway, so... We are just gonna have to... We can go this way. Come down here, let's have a rest. Actually, did we get any? Does that unlock like the next skill in this uh, su survivability side? Survival force and lightsaber. Um, no, so there's no other one we can unlock that way, but there are other things we can unlock. Um, cast maximum forces increase. I might try, let's just get this dash. Um, cow dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. Okay, so we just hold that. Okay, so we're just going to head back to the ship from here. There's, it doesn't seem like there's much else we can do in this area. He's trying to catch up to me. He's a game. Thanks, BD1. Uh, boggling studies, uh, boggling tunnel. Boggling tunnels connect their nests and serve as a natural defense against predators. Able to dig five meters per day. Bogglings collaborate in heck heckles or large packs, spending approximately one third of their lifespan digging the intricate tunnel network. Okay, so I'm just having a look at this. So like each map is gonna have like a percentage for explored. So we're 67% explored on this map. Uh, five out of 16 chests and three out of six uh, like pickups, I guess. Um, you know, like health improvement and yeah, other stuff. So I'm guessing they're gonna be like another health uh, shards, another four shards and another 
uh, canister, maybe. That's just me guessing, anyway. Uh, so let's go back to the ship and see what happens. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. Contains a list of force sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Death Mirror Zepho, it's your choice. Rebuilding the Jedi Order. Um, that's kind of basically just a catch up of what we've had. Uh, after revealing she no longer uses the Force, S <laughs> Care sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid named BD-1, who joined his quests on the journey. Cal reached out to the Force, remembering his ability to wall run inside the vault. BD projected a message from Master Eno, Eno Cordova, detailing how he hid a holocron, containing a list of known Force-sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of three Zepho sages. With BD's aid, Cal embarks on joined to rebuild his Jedi Order. Um, let's see what this one does, because we picked up a seed. I'm rooting for you. Okay, so we'll just leave it. I'm busy. I gotta figure out what to cook next. Can we get through? We can't go through. Um... Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes, but instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, 
I'll keep trying. Let's pick our next destination. Okay, so we are on Bogano. What view map is this? Just the okay, the map of the place. Um, view map. We're not gonna have anything on here because we haven't been here yet. Oh, it just takes a while to load up. Um, but yeah, that's all we get. <laughs> okay. Um, so we can go to Zepho, which is the next place, and there's also Dethamir. Um, so let's go here. That's kind of like where the quest takes us next. Main objective. Oh, what am I doing? Here we go. Zepho. What, what, what is that thing saying? I don't know why people have droids. Tell that to him. He can understand you. He can? Look, I, I didn't mean anything by it. Droids just freak me out. What doesn't? You sound like an him. They deactivate droids just because they can. That makes him one of us. Huh. Oh. Tough break. I take it back. You're all right, buddy. Okay, so what happens now? Does it just like stay in this until I do something? All right, we're here. In your chair. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Of it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. <laughs> Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Um, okay, so I probably should have, like, actually, let's go look at our lightsaber customization, because we haven't, we picked up a few extra things uh, in the last planet, but we haven't really used any of them, so we've still got blue and green. Um, we changed that emitter instead of that. We have a different switch. We have a different sleeve. Uh, 
Um, but we don't have a different material. So we're going to end this episode here. Thank you for watching this far. And if you'd like to show your support for the channel, then please click the like and subscribe buttons at the bottom of this video. Thank you again, and hopefully you guys join me again in the next video. Take care.